New Zealand Prime Minister rushes world's most extreme abortion legislation into law while country is distracted by the COVID pandemic. Yeah, that, that Arden chick, the one that looks like a tranny, looks like she has a, a scar on her throat from where her uh, Adam's apple was shaped down. <laughs> that may indeed be a tranny. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has pushed the most extreme abortion legislation into law. That, that's just great. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah, that, that's what we need, right? More laws making it easier to kill babies later in a woman's pregnancy. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Anyhow, before I get into this story about this regressive piece of commie scum, Miss Arden, I would like to ask those of you out there who like and appreciate the raw red pill nature of my content to please consider going and checking out my website, therealistphilosopher.com. That is therealistphilosopher.com. And consider making a donation by clicking on the donate button in the upper right hand corner. Now, there's three ways you can donate one, my Bitcoin wallet address, number two, my Cash App address, and number three, my Patreon. Now, my Patreon is a per piece platform, I make about eight pieces a month. So you donate a buck, it's eight bucks a month, 50 cents, four bucks a month. So it's a subscription style platform. Any amount is greatly appreciated. So go check that out, therealistphilosopher.com. Could really use your help, guys. Okay, so New Zealand's MP, MPs have introduced the most extreme abortion law in the world. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Not just in their part of the world, in the world after the abortion legislation bill passed its third reading in Parliament. And the bill passed by 68 votes to 51. So not that close, really, but a much narrower margin than at the first and second reading. The new law will mean that New Zealand has the most extreme abortion law in the world. Let me repeat that. This socialist nation with some of the most egalitarian laws on the fucking planet has now passed into law the most extreme abortion law on earth, which will include abortion will now be available on demand for any reason up until birth. Let me repeat that. I've decided at month nine I want to kill this baby. I'm supposed to give birth tomorrow, but fuck it. Let's kill it. Okay. <laughs> Sex-selective abortion will be legalized. Oh, so if you want to kill the baby because it's a boy or a girl, but we know, of course, it'll go mostly one way toward killing boys. Okay. I don't want you to have me an evil male. That's okay. You can kill boys up until month nine. <laughs> In fact, you can kill it as it's coming out of your birth canal. We'll just stick the scalpel up there and cut its throat while it's still in your poon, because technically it's still in you. The current 20-week limit for disability selective abortion will be scrapped. Oh, that's great. And abortion will be available up to the birth for disabilities including cleft lip, club foot, and Down syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get rid of those disabled kitties. They're too much of a drain on our welfare state. There will be no requirement that a doctor must be involved with providing an abortion. Oh, really? Who's going to do it? The guy down at the fucking quick lube place? <laughs> well, they're going to be ripe. For fucking abuse. So you don't need to be a doctor to perform an abortion. Well, well <laughs> won't you just have a bunch of fly-by-night dudes and dudettes performing abortions in their living room then? I took a course. That's brilliant. I foresee a lot of broads dying from subpar abortions performed by dudes who are probably fucking plumbers and think there's some kind of equivalency. Well, uh, I'll clean out pipes. I can clean out her pipes too. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. There will be no legal requirement that babies born alive after a failed abortion are given medical support. Oh, really? So, if the baby's born alive and the abortion fails and the baby's laying there and it's alive and it's outside the body, you get to let it die. Well, that's so humane. That, <laughs> that's just so humane. Just let it lie there and cry for three days. It'll die from starvation. Wow. Well, you, you lefties. Wow, you're so enlightened and progressive. Yeah. There will be no legal requirement that pain relief be given to babies being aborted between 20 weeks and birth. So we know that these babies and their babies feel pain after a certain point. 
and the point that they feel it is actually much earlier than this article is implying. It, it, they feel pain much earlier than 20 weeks, but now, eh, it's after 20 weeks, man. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, wait, wouldn't there be more pain felt later on in the pregnancy? Why would you remove the obligation to give painkiller when aborting later term pregnancies? I don't understand. <laughs> we we got to save on painkillers. We're spending too much money on this socialized medicine, yo. We got to save as much money as possible. So we got to cut some corners, you know. So, you know, later term abortions, yeah, we got to cut the painkillers, you know. We got we got to save money. We can't do anything to uh, blunt the pain that these uh, uh, almost fully formed babies feel. Babies that can exist and survive outside the womb on their own. Eh, interesting. Oh, man. There will be no legal restrictions on controversial methods of abortions, such as intact dilation and extraction abortions, abortions also known as partial birth abortions. <laughs> this just sounds like a menagerie of horrors to me. I, I just imagine going into this Frankenstein-like laboratory with all these fucking medieval tools laying around, around blood-stained and baby body parts everywhere. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking a hall of horrors, yo. Oh, my God. It sounds, it sounds like something out of a serial killer fucking Halloween-type horror movie. Polling shows that the new law is strongly opposed by the public in New Zealand. Ah, oh, well... Too late! You already put this woman into power, and in particular by women, with only 2% of women supporting abortion being available on demand. But wait, I thought that these socialistic-type governments that hold all this centralized power were there to represent the people's interests. No, <laughs> they're just global shills to push globalism, to push centralization of power into ever fewer hands so they can turn the country into a communist shithole. Yeah, so only 2% of women support this. Yeah, only 2% of women support uh, abortion being available on demand up to birth. 93% of women oppose sex-selective abortion being legal. And 94% of women supporting the current legal standards for abortion providers and premises. Hmm. But the majority of women do not support these draconian, torturistic-type abortions. But they're going ahead anyway. Lovely. Given the extremely low public support for the changes and that the gap between MPs opposing and supporting was quickly closing, Jacinda Ardern's government rushed the final stages of the bill's progress through government while MPs meeting in the country were distracted with dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. I got news for you people. That's part of what this whole pandemic was about. Most of what this pandemic has been about is frightening you and distracting you so you're not paying attention, and then they're able to get done their little pet projects and advance their socialist agenda, agenda ever further than they've ever been able to do before. This includes progressing the final setting, sitting of the committee stage and the bill's third and final reading through Parliament all on the same day. Hmm. Yeah. The bill has also seen a very large backlash from the disability community with over 1,200 people with Down syndrome and their families calling on the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to keep a pre-election promise to not introduce abortion up to birth for Down syndrome. Oh, she made a promise, did, did she? Oh, well, no, no politician has ever broke a promise in the history of the world. Oh, geez, didn't Hitler do this kind of stuff too? Didn't he lobotomize people and, 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 and make it them unable to give birth? Didn't, didn't he sterilize people who were retarded and had Down syndrome and disabilities? Didn't he do this kind of uh, population control bullshit as well, or encourage it at least? Yeah. Yeah, 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 people are calling Trump Hitler. He didn't kill six million Jews. He's not introducing this kind of uh, population control by targeting disabled people. Oh, but he's a fucking Nazi. I think the real Nazi, we're looking at her. This Jacinda Ardern, let's take a look at this broad. Yeah, if it's abroad, eh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, people. There he is, she is, I don't know. Is that an Adam's apple? That, that, I mean, I think that's a dude. I, I think this is uh, some Michelle Obama level stuff. This is above, above Michelle Obama, because let's be honest, there's not enough makeup on this planet, enough big fucking hair to hide those gigantic broad shoulders. <laughs> I mean, this is more passable than Michelle Obama at the least. Well, there you go. There, there you go. 
There's one of the world's most evil people. Mm -hmm. Hadn't the media been touting these Nordic countries? They're so wonderful. They hid the pandemic so great. Yeah. Really, did they? <laughs> They're just using it as a, uh, an excuse, as a way to uh, distract people so they can kill more babies. Yeah. Yeah. If so many people are dying from COVID in these Western countries, by the way, you would think they would want to encourage people to have babies. Not discourage them by increasing the latitude in regards to uh, who can have abortions and when. Oh, but no. No, no, no. We have plenty of white people. We don't need more. It's <laughs> great. Just great, Jacinda. I wonder if that's his, excuse me, her real name. Hmm, yeah. So interesting. Uh, so an amendment hoping to put the issue to a public referendum Failed. Oh, big surprise, yeah. In a conscious vote by 100 votes to 19 votes, denying the public a final say on the legislation. But I thought all you socialist scumbags were about democracy. I thought all you socialist scum that you are, you communist pieces of crap, were all about the will of the people, the popular vote. No, <laughs> that's all bullshit. Uh, additionally, the abortion legislation committee only heard from 139 people who wanted to give oral feedback on the bill despite over 25,000 submissions. I bet you the liberal media in their country also didn't cover this very heavily. They were too focused on fear-mongering the pandemic. The defo pandemic. Yeah, yeah. By way of comparison, the climate change response, zero carbon amendment bill, received just 10,000 written submissions, but the Environment Committee heard 1,500 oral submissions. Yeah, but you see, the whole climate change bullshit is just so the government could get more of your money, impose new taxes, and increase the amount of socialism, increase the amount of centralized government control. So, yeah, of course that got a lot more attention. <laughs> Of course! Uh, it advances their agenda to control you in your life. New Zealand Prime Minister Desh Jacinda Ardern, probably used to be named Jack, was among 80 MPs responsible for defeating an attempt to require health care professionals to give medical help to babies born alive after failed abortions. Okay, this is some macabre shit. This is some macabre shit, yo. How cold-hearted do you have to be to pass legislation that makes it illegal to give medical aid to a baby that survives an abortion attempt. And it does happen, and not infrequently. So the baby survives, it's laying there on the table. You're just supposed to let it lay there. Turn out the light. The government made us soundproof these rooms because, you know, some kind-hearted, sentimental nurses or doctors might hear the baby wailing and come help it. So we soundproofed the room and uh, closed the curtains. Let, let's get out of here. We won't come back for three or four days, and then when we do, we'll have this desiccated husk of a corpse, and we'll just throw it in the bin. <laughs> Wow. You're so soft-hearted, Miss Jacinda Arden. Wow. The humanity. You are just so sentimental and, and so full of emotion and, and those strong, strong hormones that would be throw, flowing to an actual woman, right? That maternal instinct in you. It's so strong. You, you, you just leave the baby to die on the table, okay? <laughs> we'll give you money to soundproof the room and all that so nobody hears its cries. Just, just let it die. Great. Lovely. An attempt to protect babies from sex-selective abortion was defeated <laughs> with 50 votes in favor and 70 against. Yeah. It, doesn't this government have, uh, by and large, more women represented than any other government, except maybe Sweden? Jeez. I, I wonder why these laws are getting passed. <laughs> Despite strong concerns over the practice being highlighted in a submission to the Abortion Legislation Committee from Stop Gender Side, a campaign group, who had urged MPs to support the amendment. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> you expected that to pass. <laughs> Come on. Other defeated pro-life measures aiming to soften the scope of the bill, including pain relief to babies being aborted between 20 weeks and birth. Oh, no, 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 no. We have laws protecting dogs. <laughs> you know, dogs that are euthanized, you know, they're put to sleep, no pain. But babies, nah, human babies do not have the value of a dog. Stronger protections to conscientious objection and requiring the collection of abortion statistics. Oh, no, no, no. We can't know how many babies are being killed. It might uh, offend our sensibilities and get people to change their mind about abortion laws. We don't want to know how many babies are being killed, yo. Over 60,000 people signed a petition calling on the New Zealand Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, Winston Peters, a dude? He's the token dude. Yeah. <laughs> to ensure the government withdrew the bill. Yeah, right. Come on. He's just happy to have a job in this almost all-female government, okay? He, he's not going to uh, 
Bite the hand that's feeding him. The Green Party failed in its attempt to reverse a mistake that resulted in criminalized free speech zones. <laughs> oh, are you sure they failed? Are you sure that wasn't their goal to begin with? So you don't challenge the green global warming hysteria bullshit, which prevent pro-life help from being offered outside abortion clinics, being excluded from the legislation. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> You're not allowed to protest even. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a problem with babies being left to die and rot for days on end on a delivery table. Well, you're not allowed to say so. <laughs> These are such free countries. <laughs> Which prevent. Oh, this is great. Oh, my God. Green Party co leader Marama Davidson had attempted to reintroduce the measure, but MPs voted 77 to 43 against it. 77 to 43. You people out there talking about how wonderful these Nordic fucking countries are, okay? Get the fuck out of here. They're about the most regressive commie shitholes you could possibly live in. Oh, but they're here free markets. Excuse me, I misspoke. Socialist shitholes <laughs> that are pushing for communism and are traveling 90 miles a fucking hour over that fucking cliff edge as they approach it. This is great. Voted 77 to 43 against having free speech outside of abortion clinics. <laughs> they really love their abortion in New Zealand, yo. <laughs> oh, great. This, this is just great. You know, this is the left for you. This is the modern left. They hate babies. They, they, they hate babies. I mean, unless they're babies of another race, you know. Your baby, uh, got to hate it, got to go, especially male babies, but... <laughs> If it's a brown or black, black baby, I'm going to adopt it and raise it to virtue signal how wonderful I am and how much I recognize my white privilege. I recognize it so much that I have essentially chosen not to have white babies and to raise black and brown babies as a white person with privilege. <laughs> really great. Oh, my God. So you can torture babies. You can kill them. You can leave them to die, even if they survive the abortion. You can kill them just because it's a boy, has a cleft lip, which, by the way, isn't that fixable? It, 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 hasn't that been treatable for, like, t forever? <laughs> cleft lip, bye-bye. Baby's not perfect. <laughs> oh, club foot? No, 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 no. Can't that be fixed, by the way, with surgery? Oh, mm, yeah, but we're a socialized healthcare country. We don't want to spend the money. <laughs> Or Down syndrome. I can understand the Down syndrome thing, but couldn't they have something to offer? I mean, we need people to stack the fruit, right? Who's going to stack the fruit in the fruit aisle? <laughs> Who's going to arrange the fucking veggies? They're pretty good at that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> you got to have somebody to do that. Who's going to dunk the fries? Who's going to be that person that works at McDonald's for 35 years and retires after a long career of dunking fries and flipping burgers? And then we look up to this person. He's disabled, but he worked 40 years at a McDonald's. And he's got Down syndrome and an IQ of 70. If he can do it, I can do it too, but on a higher level. Can't these people be heroes? Can't they have something to contribute? No! <laughs> oh, great, 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 great. This is just wonderful. This, this screams Nazism, but of course, this isn't a, sound like something out of one of fucking Mengele's labs. Oh, no, no. My God, this is some sick shit. And by the way, you people are voting for this. You people in the West, you people in America, you're voting for these kind of policies. When you vote for people like Biden and Kamala and AOC, congratulations, you've got what you wanted. Anyway, let me know what you think of this piece of crap, this piece of scum, this filth named Jacinda Ardern, who seems to hate babies and especially male babies let me know what you think of the comment section is she a he or is <laughs> he is she i mean wh wh what is this person is this a tranny is this a dude or is she actually a she let me know what you think of the comment section let me know if uh, you think these laws are good for new zealand they're very very bad not only for zealand new zealand but the rest of the world also let me know what you think and also if you really like and appreciate the raw red-pilled nature of my content. Again, please consider going and checking out my website, therealistphilosopher.com. That is therealistphilosopher.com and consider making a donation. I could really use your help.